Three weeks after gang kajakta a Nairobi bound bus, killing a police officer, Corporal Martin Korir of Ruaraka Police Post. Police accosted a group of suspects in Dandora and killed them. They recovered Corporal Korir's stolen gun from the suspects. The men killed in Dandora are said to have been behind a string of robberies around Ruaraka, Kariobangi and Dandora. Police tracked them in their hideouts at Dandora Phase 2. Police say they killed the men in a gunfight. The leader of the four slain men, Anthony Odongo, also known as Odosi, described as a very dangerous man. Preliminary investigations have shown that the slain suspect is closely linked to a GSU officer, Wycliffe Nyandigisi Motanya, who currently faces charges related to the carjacking incident that caused Corporal Coril his life. The GSU officer allegedly stabbed the police corporal then shot him using his own pistol during the incident in a new Kenya Umpia Matatu along Thika Road. The GSU officer has since been suspended and charged. <laughs> Elsewhere, police shot and killed two suspected robbers in Kahawa Wendani. Ruiru OCPD James Ngetich said two others escaped with injuries. The suspects were cornered after robbing a woman. Kupiga nduru ole waskari wakarudi kuangalea ni nini kinatendeka hapo. Ndo badaye wakapatana na wezi. Hapo ndo kukatokea shootout between our alifu na polisi. Kwanza kama yo ni mama wa soko, wezi fika. Ukiwanekana tu na nini na kitu ya kubeba mboga, iyo pesa yote meenda. Whoever thinks that you will be there trying to uh, bring a lot of instability or to cause unnecessary problem to members of the public, we are there. That is our job and they shall see. Last week, police mistakenly shot a young man in Jericho who they thought was a most wanted gangster. Even as police continue to pursue the criminals who are terrorizing residents of Nairobi, at least eight suspects have been gunned down with no arrest made. Steve Juma, NTV in Kahawa Wendani, Kiambu County.